New day, new creepypasta. This time we're going for Lazari. Now, as I mentioned before with the Sally Williams intro, is if it's a creepypasta character that's a small child, I will have a little bit of a heartbreak. Lazari is no Lazari is slightly different, even though she is technically around the around the time her original story takes place, she's about eight years old. But unlike Sally Williams, she was not killed to become a creepypasta character. She was born into the creepypasta name. Because if you all remember from the Zalgo backstory video back on the 11th, I did mention, I did say that Zalgo is Lazari's biological father. So that's where that comes into play. Uh, let's just get into her full backstory all together, shall we? All right, I believe it's time we get into the backstory of Lazari. There once was a woman whose body was cursed. If she dare bear a child, it will die before its birth. Though uh, through madness he crept, the monster of dark, he promised the child to ease the woman's heart. A daughter at last, she, kept, uh, she wept with joy, not knowing at once she was just his toy. Quote from Lazari. Lazari Natalie, uh, Natalie Swan is the titular main protagonist of the creepypasta comic series I Eat Pasta for Breakfast. She is the biological daughter of Zalgo and a mortal slash human woman. Zalgo, taking the form of a human named Evan Harrison, tricked a wo human woman named Loretta Swan, a religious zealot who was part of a cult that did unspeakable things for the graces of God into thinking he was a divine being who could finally give her the child she always wanted, she was barren. They conceived, with Zalgo abandoning Loretta shortly thereafter, and Loretta gave birth to a completely normal baby, a normal baby girl named Lazari. Lazari exhibited no demonic traits at all until she was four years old, where she involuntarily went into her demon form and killed and ate a demonically possessed neighbor. This is when she gained red eyes, jagged teeth, and lost the ability to see any other colors besides red. Lazari's mother then chained her up to the basement walls, completely isolated her from the outside world, and beat and tortured her on a constant basis in order to purge the demon. This continued for four more years until Loretta finally had enough, took her daughter out into the woods with her and hung herself right in front of Lazari. After that, you can learn more about her adventures in I Eat Pasta for Breakfast Creepypasta comic. Uh, that might be for a different time, unfortunately. At the beginning of I Eat Pasta for Breakfast, she wears a long reddish-orange dress. Her long brown hair is left usually loose with her hair being tied with a bow at the end. Her appearance changes in the comic when she turns 12 years old and her new reference in her new reference sheet. She's seen with pink hair usually tied in a bun or ponytail, her outfit being usually just casual clothes like a shirt and a skirt. A mouth appears on her collar. She also is seen with many new forms like her hungry form and her zalgoid form showing off her demonic side. As an eight-year-old, Lazari was kind and cheerful, if over overly clingy. She enjoyed doing stereotypical childish things like drawing and coloring, throwing tea parties, and playing outside. Now, as a twelve-year-old, Lazari has become more salty and bitter, though still retaining a bit of her childish personality. Although she may appear twelve now, however mentally she is still the same eight-year-old as before. Either way, she is rather rambunctious and will attach herself to people to feel comfort. She also fears being left alone prior to her mother's torment. She also fears being called a monster. That is the trigger word that will send her into a panicked state. 
Harmless, she can't do much damage. This is her usual form, and it's shown to be usually harmless as she's in total control of her actions. Hungry form, violent and she acts like an animal trying to hunt. She rarely remembers anything about being in that state. One example of this form and how she acted was in the comic I Eat Pasta for Breakfast, page 167. That's when in one chapter, Lazari acted violently like a wild animal by biting off a tentacle of one of Slenderman's brothers and eating the proxy alive without showing any sign of regret or mercy during that moment. She bit off the tentacle of one of Slenderman's brothers? What the hell? I'm s Okay. Just to clarify, yes, Slenderman does have brothers. He has three brothers, to be exact. So there's Slenderman, obviously. Then you have one called Splenderman, Offenderman, and Trenderman. I just can't remember... All of the three of them by heart, like which one's which. Alright, Zalgoid form. Rare from uh, rare form since it has it had been shown in the comic to be painful to turn into. Not much information has been put on about this form, but it is said to be even worse and dangerous than the hunger form. Yeah. Lazari was created by Chibi Works. Lazari's birthday is apparently on December 25th, Christmas. She does not, she does not eat humans, only other supernatural beings. Has minor panic attacks and will vomit when she is too scared. She has an inner demon named Lazarus. She has a biological half-sister named Stripes, though she's not close with her. Aw, damn it. She has a crush on Eyeless Jack, but he doesn't like her back. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. Jack, what are you doing? Just give her some closure. <sighs> Alright. Lulu is an older sister figure to her. Okay. Lazari can only see shades of red. She has no perception of hue other than that. Though she can see black and white due to black being the absence of color and white being all color simultaneously. Lazari measures at 4 foot 10 in height. Lazari has major scarring on her back due to her mother trying to purge the demon from her. She needs to eat monsters to survive. Her body craves it much like people crave certain things, only difference is we have the option not to. She has no choice. This also excludes human unless they are a slender proxy. She can't smell the difference from proxies and slenderman. She often carries around a teddy bear named Gums. Alright. First and foremost, obviously, you see the picture right here of... 12 year old Lazari with the shirt, uh, the pink shirt and the skirt. Yeah, obviously. But we have fan art. Uh, obviously, gotta go to the fan art. And then, first thing that pops up is the freaking picture of her different forms. And you can see that very well. You have the human form right here, and it's got a picture right here of the three scars on her back that. Uh, Loretta left when she was trying to purge the demon out of uh, Lazari. Here's her hunger form. Or, yeah, the hungry form. And then her Zalgoid form when the mouth... Sh oh, the mouth shows up on her collar uh, during the hungry form and it's com fully revealed in the Zalgoid form. Along with other mouths on her appendages. Because you see if you look closely enough, you can see shades of red on her legs. Because there's a mouth there, there, and there. So one, two, three, four. I see five mouths. That definitely confirm. If that doesn't confirm that she is Zalgo's biological daughter, I don't know what would. Uh, there was, there was one picture, or my bad, there was one thing about appearance. Yeah, yeah, here it is. At the beginning of the comic, she wears a long reddish-orange dress. Her long brown hair is left usually loose with her hair being tied with a bow at the end. That would be this picture right here. 
as it's completely loose, and then you got the bow at the bottom right here. And then there's her little teddy bear guns. Oh my god. Okay, so I know it said that she has a crush on Eyeless Jack, but he does not like her back like that. This picture right here, I gotta say, that's a bit wholesome. That is a bit wholesome. Guys, listen up, okay? I know throughout the entire month, I've been telling y'all to subscribe and hit the bell so y'all don't miss a creepypasta video. This time, it's no different because I'm saying the exact same thing as usual, but the difference is that, gotta remember, since tomorrow is going to be the 31st, tomorrow's the last creepypasta video. So if you do not want to miss that final creepypasta video of the month, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, so you'll be notified when the video comes out tomorrow. And it's hard, and I hate to say it, but it's kind of hard to believe that we're already at the end. But, I guess at some point all good things come to an end. Other than that, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.